5.30, and in a Coin 6 News exclusive, federal agents go undercover to put an end to a huge counterfeit CD operation. Our Brent Weisberg has been tracking this investigation and brings us more. The music stopped playing in 2016 for Michael Hargraves. It's me. The damage is enormous. During a lengthy operation, Homeland Security investigations uncovered a counterfeit scheme mastermind by Hargraves that spanned the globe. From all outward appearances, it was completely legitimate. The, part, the problem was is they were all counterfeit. Brian Widener is the assistant special agent in charge of Homeland Security investigations in Oregon. For us, this is a, uh, a priority area. As federal agents dug deeper, they uncovered one of the most sophisticated counterfeit operations they've come across. They found out that Hargraves was in the UK using an alias Martin Donald to run an online storefront called Media Mind US. He put his music store online using Amazon.com. Customers in Canada, Germany, France, and the U.S. all unknowingly bought counterfeit CDs from top 40 artists like Taylor Swift, 21 Pilot, and Sam Hunt. Is it too late now to say sorry? One of the misnomers is that, that physical product, whether it be vinyl or CDs, are, are disappearing. Once customers clicked purchase, the orders would be fulfilled and shipped by Amazon. What you have to keep in mind is that every purchase that's made of, from this particular defendant is an act of consumer fraud. Hargrave's counterfeit business was lucrative, pulling in more than two million dollars in a single year. For us, that's a substantial amount of money that has lost revenue to businesses in the U.S. Marcus Cohen, the vice president of anti-piracy field investigations for the Recording Industry Association of America, says that the music industry saw piracy take off around the time when Napster was introduced in 1999. After U.S. music sales nearly topped 15 billion dollars that year, Sales last year in 2016 struggled to reach $8 billion. Uh, the impact has basically been to cut the music industry in half. I got this feeling. Technology is making it easier for counterfeiters. Printers in China now have the ability to pump out nearly identical CDs. And the internet has allowed counterfeiters to transfer files faster with more anonymity. In Hargraves' case, investigators discovered the CDs he was selling were incredibly well made. I went to a lot of effort to make sure that it was designed to confuse a consumer into believing they were purchasing a legitimate item. The proceeds of those illegitimate CD sales came under review by the feds. Shimmy, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah. Investigators found out that Hargraves systematically engaged in international money laundering to hide at least $1.4 million from Uncle Sam. Now with Hargraves finishing out his federal sentence and with his online business shut down, authorities are making sure the music you hear is crystal clear and the message to counterfeiters is even louder. Our anti-piracy program goes out uh, throughout the United States and internationally. Uh, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin6 News.